madness you harbor within rarely is a symptom of sin. Ah, it's simple. Don't forget your line, Abby. Now please, go unlock the door. You may come in, most welcome guest. Hear my tales of heavy unrest. These dark stories are not a gist, but a warning at the core. The odd, the profound, and the macabre are what lie within the core to haunt you for. Please excuse that interruption from an overt introduction. Let's proceed with my narration, Events of the Deepest Law. A burrow obsessed with proper time, entranced by the hour's very chime, invoked a demon's hearty crime to crush the peace they adore, to cease the safety and order of the grand clock to which they adore, wrought chaos for. That's the wrong word, but the right scheme, and here I thought we were a team. Where was I? Oh yes, or a seaman faced against the might of nature never witnessed before. Overwhelming jaws of the sea, futile are your attempts to flee, for the maelstrom so desires thee to be consumed, nothing more. Plunge down deep into the vengeful sea, unsatisfied it seeks more, your life gone for. Never more. But what matters here most of all is that you submit to this call, to join me on a fantastical adventure during days of yore. Is your willpower strong enough? <laughs> Wait, this is not merely a bluff. I'm tired of all this cryptic stuff. Come down, Abby, I implore. What good is this elaborate setup doing, Mr. I implore? You just need their help, correct? Or... That would be to make a request. You see, I am inviting our guest. That's just twisting your words. Isn't this all for your sweet wife you adore? Enough with your tiresome critique. Is it true darkness that you seek? Unseen horrors to make you shriek? Tales of terrifying gore? Rude. When do I get to speak? Of course, Abby. After this tale of gore. Just don't knock me on the floor. Mmm, okay. Death is transported by the wind, ready to claim one's tragic end. Human figures will not break or bend. A more gruesome state is in store. Their insides are torn asunder. To hide is a foolish blunder, petrified with shock and wonder as plasma seeps from their pores. Helplessly, they struggle to survive while their innards leak from their pores. Ahem. Say your piece. Don't be a bore. Sir here has lost his drive to write, so he seeks aid for such a plight. You must... That much is quite all right. What? But there's still so much more. Thank you. You may now take your leave. But, but... I still have other guests to receive. No! Sir can no longer believe. Please, don't desert him through that door. What even is the point when you're just going to cast them out the door? They won't return. 